So I went on eBay and ordered another train. Yes, you heard me right. I said another train. And here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another bar knife. Oh, those are much sharper. This is good. This is a good one. I can tell. A good knife to open it. Oh my gosh, these people really did go. Where should I go? Oh, right here. Other way. That way. Since that's been cut, I believe we can open the tape. Oh god. Alright, now we'll try. <sighs> yes, it's hard with this packaging tape. I'm trying to figure out how to open this dang thing. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Nice packing slip. Okay. <laughs> I go around that way if you're trying to go around. I want to see it. Open it up. All right. Just let me make sure it's okay. Is it a whole caboose? Yes. With the insides in it? Probably. I assume. I don't want you to order anything else that doesn't have the insides in it already, okay? It, yeah, obviously. I think that'd be an obvious. Oh, yep, there it is. Classic Burlington Northern caboose. Burlington Northern? Yep. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's Burlington Northern. Hey, Joe Steel, knuckle couplers. Regular. Regular stuff. I only bought this to match the, uh, the, um, the Burlington Northern stuff downstairs, and I thought also. It could be used on BNSF locals that I use from time to time. Okay, clean up this mess. Uh, yes. I'm going to move this down here real quick here. I'm keeping the bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm keeping the bubble wrap. should probably put the knife away. I also want to keep the packing slip just in case. Uh, and all right. Uh, that was left. Just. <laughs> I don't think I don't need to shut this one back. All right. Now. I really like this caboose because of how detailed it actually is, and it, it's got a lot of dust and cobwebs on it like a real caboose would actually have, unless the railroad decided to keep it in good shape. Now, I bought this because on my layout I have a lot of BNSF pieces. And Burlington Northern. I have like half of my layout, which is BNSF. If it's not BNSF, it's Union Pacific.
They have two H1s. I have a patch Santa Fe right there. I have a Burlington Northern there. <sighs> Let's uh, put a few new cards in here. So that, give me a moment. And we'll test out. Okay. Yeah, you, I bet you can hear the derailment in the back there. Sorry, I'm kind of just dealing with the couplers right now. Oh, fine, I'll put this away. Uh, there's not enough space for this. Not enough space for any of this stuff. I need to bring out a lot of motors. Let's bring it out. Need two hands to hold it, so I'll put that down just so we can get it. I'm just gonna leave it on top here. Uh, sorry I'm making you wait so much. Okay. I kind of slowly let it go around. Well, slowly at your bit, but very quick when I pass your, your spot. It's a nice HO scale BM caboose, and now I have the complete Burlington Northern set for back when this stuff was in use. I should probably, I know I've already shown you a lot of these things. But 
kind of feel like you would like to get kind of some nice shots. Okay. Uh, wait, what? How did that happen? I'm sure you heard that. <laughs> You know, this caboose is just one of my favorite items on this layout so far. Oh, uh, don't mind the blurry Conrail in the background. Uh, don't pay attention to that. We'll uh, discuss him in a different video. Oh, wait, I think I already did. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, wait, yeah, I think I did discuss him in a different video. Did I? I can't remember. Well, I'll look over, and if I didn't, I'll dedicate it. So this is kind of all for Burlington Northern pieces that I have over here. But this one is by far my favorite. I really like how they put the numbering and stuff on it. And I also do like the little stack up here. The, the little stack. <laughs> Perfect HO, knuckle couplers, everything about this caboose just really intrigues me. Now, if they weren't so freaking expensive, I would uh, buy a Union Pacific Bay window caboose next. And, but uh, <laughs> they're like 30 to $60 a piece. So that isn't happening for a while. <laughs> But, yeah. I also like how the caboose is yellow and green instead of just straight green. And, you know, everything about this caboose is just nice. But, you know, there are some things that must be forgotten. But then they are put back into use for something. Or your layout is just really old school. I like to keep a variety of old school and other. I like to keep it a variety of old school and new stuff. You know what I mean? Now... Since the shadow is on that side, me on that caboose. That green is just amazing. Well, in the meantime, just make sure you keep on rolling, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, hunters!